Welcome back to another episode of War on the Sea, Pacific Theater Mod, Part 89. Here we are with the uh, Enterprise Battle Group. Um, some nice big boys here. Uh, we're going to go on and do another pounding. Um, um, it, it's uh, time we start being a little bit more aggressive. And uh, we haven't been very aggressive in this this uh, playthrough for quite a while. So we're going to start getting a little bit more pr pr uh, aggressive uh, while gaining points in the areas that we need to. Um, we have a cap doing their search patterns, which I don't really like the way the game does it, but. It is what it is. So we're going to go into it. Let's get out of here. I just came in here for you guys to see uh, some pretty, pretty boats doing their thing. How about that for a screenshot? Should we use that? Um, I have played a little bit uh, since the last video to try and progress. And what I found was... Um, I found that uh, there's there's uh, where to slow down point, and that's pretty standard um, until we start getting more aggressive here. Um, why, you say? Because uh, we have decimated the big ships of Japan, and that's the goal. That's what we were trying to do. It wasn't unintentional. Um, Congos are gone. Fusos are gone. Isays are gone. Nagatos are, yeah, they're both gone. Yamatos. Um, there's only the Shinanu left. Um, we did see it near Lei, and we had kind of a miserable attack. I, don't, I think that was the last video. Um, so she's still out there. Uh, she probably is going back into Rabul uh, to do some business um, repairing her, but we're going to see if we can uh, solve that issue. Um, Heezen is gone, both of the Heezens. Uh, we go to uh, cruisers. Furutakas are both gone. Obas are both gone. Miyoko are both gone. The cows are all gone. Ogami, all gone. Tone, I think that's how you say it. Furutakas. Yeah, so we've covered all the all the cruisers are gone. Um, Tenures, light cruisers. They're both gone. Kumas. We have the, just the Tama left in the Kuma class. Um, that's with that battleship off Lay somewhere, uh, or in this between Rabul and Lay, the northern part. Um, Nagara's we got just the one. Kino Sendai's are all gone. Kitakami's we got those early. Yubari is gone. Agano are all gone. Yodo. Uh, I think that Yodo was off of um, I want to say it was here between Truck and Pompeii. Uh, we did have another sighting. I think it was up here in this location. Uh, but I think that's where I saw the, the Yodo. Um, there's only one of those. And then after that, it's just going to be inundated. There's 20 of these Fubuki's, only four of those. How many have we got? Yeah, there's only one left. Um, Hatsaharu, uh, there's still five of those. Uh, there's only two, no, four of those. Share Hatsu. Um, only three, well, and maybe five. So we, we do have a bunch of these, but the biggest thing, 
biggest thing um, do we need to be wary of is our, the big carriers. I haven't seen any. Uh, the Kaga, Soru, we did get to Hiru. Uh, we got the Shukaku, but the Zukiku is still out. If I'm saying these wrong, I apologize. I'm giving my best, uh, my best to try and pronounce these names. Yeah, so the large carriers are still out there. Um, light carriers. Yeah, both of those are, you know, I, miserable. Or maybe it was this guy. Yeah, but I think I've attacked both of those uh, Chitoses and um, just miserable attack method. Naruyo is gone. We get one of the three Tayos. Osho is still out there. This guy. Yeah, I, I know I've seen him, but we didn't get a good attack on him either. So that that's where we stand. Our, our enemy is. Um, so we're, what's our goal? Our goal today is for the Enterprise ba or the Wasp battle group now. Wasp. Um, we've got her back into the fray. She's already attacked Rabul, bombarding it. It was a five and five, I believe. And uh, we got it down to a three and four. It may take two more or one more after this, but we're just going in blindly. Um, we have enough cap to protect ourselves. Um, I don't see that being an issue. So we are going to bombard Rubble down to nothing and then go up and get this one down to nothing as well. So there's no aircraft. That may bring down some, uh, some more bait. Um, supplies and you know opportunity for command points so that's what we're gonna do um, everybody else has got their points of position and um, we do have this supply coming into truck truck is still struggling with uh, gorillas in the uh, jungle of truck and uh, we're trying to we have overwhelming force but yeah, we need to even this uh, supplies to troops out. And hopefully with this group we can. Let's see what I put on these. Engineering, engineering, yeah, supplies. Engineering, I don't know, I guess I went heavy on engineering there. Let's see what we got. So yeah, I guess I'm trying to get this up to a level three airfield. Is what the goal was. Um, and then we look around some of these bases. I really don't want to take any more off of you. I'm not increasing uh, ship, ship ports or airfields anymore. You're going to stay that way. You're going to be a rearming location. And um, I just need to make sure that we always have the right amount of supply. But the fuel can come off of here um, down to like 100. Engineering as well at 100. I'm not going to increase you anymore. Um, then we go up to Wake, see what we have at Wake. Wake, we've been rob robbing pretty hard. Uh, we got, I'm okay, we keep fuel there. It's a holding point. It's not an invasion area, I don't believe. It's going to be invaded anytime soon, but this is where we get the supplies and everything off Midway and take it to Wake and it sits for closer location for supply runs. Um, and then we come to Midway and Midway, we did just get resupplied, and we also just loaded up all our supply ships, pretty much. That's where all the troops went. Um, so, yeah. And you see we at 151 supplies right now, or uh, command points. And then if we come over here and we go to the dockyard, we see we have New Yorktown coming out in three days. We'll get those command points back. I have a plan to send her back to... Uh, have her retake her position here. What we will do is <clears throat> we will take a you know we always are going to keep three destroyers with these groups but then you have one ship um, probably 
it'll be a cruiser. We have no light cruisers in this group. So it'll probably be this Reno. And the Reno will go out and it will jump into the lay defense force, this group, to give it a little bit more power. Um, so we'll just, anytime we get over ships, more ships in the area, we also have a damaged ship here, which next time we go back to rearm, we can uh, send it. But uh, we're gonna probably put that other ship in there. Um, mental note, it's probably the Reno uh, that we'll send away. We're not gonna send away battleships. He's a good uh, lot of HE, 6700. HE on that guy and the HE is where we're at with uh, destroyers some of these big you know ships yeah so he, he that's a good position for the Reno and that's what we're gonna do so but again I wanna bang these down and then we are going to stay with truck build up truck as best we can to, I'd like to get maybe a level 5 airfield here. Keep a carrier group doing this between Saipan and Guam and uh, maybe even Peleliu in this area type of thing but keep the carrier in this pretty much area um, to protect it from Pompeii. Keep truck protected. Uh, we've already had destroyer groups trying to invade Pompeii from, from this direction. Um, I'm just gonna leave a, we'll do that. Um, so that's what we're gonna do there. So we need to get a group here that's permanent and it's gonna be the, you know, the Pompeii defense eventually is gonna go and just stay here. And that will be, we may take some of these out but leave it stripped to like a, cru a cru couple cruisers. Um, you know, something with a lot of HE on it, like the Atlanta. Uh, kind of like we're doing off a of lay and have like the Atlanta and throw in a bunch of destroyers and maybe some light cruisers to change into the new Defense Pompeii group. And then all the big boys will keep heading west. So that's what our plans are there. So yeah, you. I really want to... I don't know if it's realistic, but I, that's what I want to do. I want to have groups that stay to protect our locations that we've already taken. And you say, well, why don't we have that up by Wake? Well, I've never seen Wake invaded by ships. It usually gets patrolled by groups of bombers from probably Iwo or Saipan. But I've never seen any invasion force come this way, and definitely nothing up by midway. It just doesn't happen in the game, at least as far as I know. So, I guess what we're going to do is we're going to keep this focus, keep a lot, keep an eye on supply ships and things like that, and then uh, you know watch this wasp go in and do a bombardment here and see what it comes up. So let's start to crack the clock and uh, get things rolling. We got an awful lot of search planes and things out, so I want to get a visual, like these two guys are doing absolutely nothing, so we need to make sure that they stay active. Um, it's important because if you're thinking that you're covered, that's how you get immediately snuck up on, um, and I can't allow that to happen, so that's what we're doing. And really, that's that's the best uh, note here for this guy. Um, keep yourself safe, my friend. And you are gonna just do this all the time. I hope that. Well, let's see if we can try a different way. Let's see if we can do, um, 
Yeah, I don't want to go that far. So if we do a crazy pattern, I'm okay with that. Um, we'll have them do that and uh, we'll see how that works out for us. I like that more tight pattern. Um, it's maybe going to get stuck, but we'll see what happens. Let me do a quick scan here and make sure everybody that I know is happening. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. You're coming down and um, do me a favor and get your cap up because that's the way we play. We have to have it. Um, yeah, the last video we used these light carriers and I was totally not happy with how they perform. Well, I, I'll blame myself. I did not do a good job there for sure because we lost, we have a light carrier that has like one aircraft left. Because I'm f funky like that, we're gonna get rid of these. Uh, you know how we play, we, we, we don't want, um, we don't want these scout planes harassing our areas. Um, See which way he's moving. So let's go into this fantastic battle here and uh, see if we can make some somebody angry. Um, there he is, right in front of us. A nice dreary day in the morning. better. Yeah, just don't want these guys uh, impeding my force. They do not get, um, I, I would think, because if I send out a scout plane and they get shot down, um, wherever they came from, I'm guessing a ship. Um, let's get this guy in a little course here because I want him to be vigilant. There may be a ship around here somewhere or up here. Um, I don't know if when I said I saw something we attacked down here, it may have been like a uh, cruiser. Um, that may have had a, a scout plane. That's maybe what that came from, but he doesn't have an infinite amount of them And we shoot them all down then they're gonna be gone from the game Yeah, see there's got to be something here I'm going to send out um, you guys um, And we're gonna go look and it's because We can't afford to have you guys um, us. Um, let's see if we can uh, mitigate this. Really? We are going to shoot these guys down. Um, still in the morning, these guys are going to get tagged, that's for sure. Um, but let's see if we can get some of these scouts out in a way. I know it's going to be a little boring, but um, I guess most 
most pl people that play this game would wouldn't do this in the uh, great attack angle, my friends. Talk about a way to get shot down. <clears throat> these guys are the rookie crew. All these pilots are up trying to get their uh, their wings and uh, get some experience in gunnery. Apparently. At least uh, we can think about it that way. We think. Uh, let's. We're just gonna send you to go over here as well. I guess. Let's see if we can get these guys. Kingfisher. Okay. So we're soon gonna be inundated with. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna mitigate this 51 minute uh, nautical miles before they can. They'll be out of uh, range. We don't want to get caught. There'll be an awful lot of aircraft coming out of here, so we want to make sure that everything is up possible. And uh, we use them to protect our fleet. We don't want any torpedoes coming through. We don't want any, any anything to come through and um, give us any surprises. We have been surprised in the past, mostly because of me. Um, when I decided to engage in a aircraft battle and my aircraft were out of position um, and we're gonna go ham here because it's important uh, we're gonna send all these guys up and um, I want them to be as protective of the wasp as possible and we're, our goal is not to attack any ships. Our goal is to bombard Rabul. Um, so that's important. So we are going to uh, begin, see what we come up with. Okay, we just get the one scout. So let's look around for anything. And then we're gonna go uh, down and speed up and uh, head uh, this way. We're gonna get caught. I'm not going to uh, expedite this one because we are on a mission from God. If you know the reference in the movie, write it in the comments. Uh, I will, won't ever speak of it again. Uh, that's just came into my head when I started talking about it. That was expected. We were gonna allow that. Um, normally, I don't, but uh, that's just what we're gonna do. I know I already have a screenshot, but that was kind of a cool one as it turned out. So we'll let that one uh, proceed. You know, in, in theory, that guy wouldn't want to return back to the carrier because it would bring in massive attack. Uh, that's going to happen anyway, I think. Um, let's see if we can uh, follow these. Is it these guys? No, it's these guys. Let's see if we can get rid of this scout plane do an eye for an eye here. Well, he's going to just say no. Let's go get these guys. Um, I found, and I think I said this in probably episode two, part two, I keep saying episode. Ooh. Part two of the series, maybe, early on. When you have You have this screen open for anything and you get a pop-up an encounter pop-up if it's the same encounter you do a go-to um, the go-to is going to highlight what the encounter is okay if you go tactical here you have a very high likelihood I've seen of the game freezing and crashing at that point maybe it's been fixed but in my theory, I've incorporated into practice 
not to go into tactical if it's an encounter as well. Let's give another example. If this guy, actually this guy, is the one we were focusing on, right? Make sure it's the right one. Yeah, if this this is the one that we had up, and it's different from the encounter. And if I say I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on this encounter and I want to go tactical and get rid of this scout plane, I've had that crash the game as well. And what happens is you lose time that you've wasted uh, uh, preparing things in game. So remember, number one, encounters always do the encounters. If it gives you the option to ignore, you can, and then you can carry on with whatever you're doing. But in this situation, you have to resolve this Kingfisher encounter. Um, so do not go tactical in that situation. Hope that's ultimately clear again. So it looks like this guy's being attacked. Uh, yeah, this guy. So let's go in and see what we can do. Um, so 24 is back up again. These guys are up still, so enough aircraft over the carrier. Um, let's get this out of the way. All right, so now the, the other scenario. You cannot let your air, your air, your submarine uh, get attacked for, for you know just by accident. So you want to dive him, and this guy has to be the run away um, at best speed. G Louis. And look at that. Look at the look at the chances of that. Um, these guys are oh good, the torpedoes. But these guys, yeah, uh-huh. So this guy's a torpedo plane, but this guy I'm pretty sure is a bomber. Let's see what he does. Show us what you got in your belly button. Nope, he's not. Uh, we have fighters coming after our Kingfisher, which I'm okay with. We have bombers. These bombers can take out this sub if he does not dive. Emergency dive, 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 dive. Um, we have a very high chance because of where we spawned in of this guy being destroyed and that's probably going to happen not by the torpedo planes because they won't drop they're going to circle down to try and do it but it's maybe these guys uh, let's see what they got on them open your bays please or what is these dive bombers no 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 we're good these guys are turning away. The sub is right there. Oh, he's got bombs. See, yeah, see. The only chance we have is um, to do a hard turn, and hopefully they can't turn to us and get us. Um, but they, yeah, these guys here and here. Yeah, these bombs are pretty dangerous, um, but not much, not much we can do. That's it. There's just nothing we can do. Um, emergency blow puts you up. This dive makes you dive fast, uh, but we have to get under the water because these guys are dropping. They haven't already. Yeah, see? So we're, we're submerged at what? Uh, 49 feet. And those 800 kilogram bombs that they just dropped put a big hurting on us. Um, we are going to stay at uh, here because we may not be able to come back up if the flooding gets too, too bad. Uh, we still can repair this. Um,
we should be safe at this depth uh, but the problem is if we go down and we can't get back up then we're probably in trouble and look at how these torpedoes just all get wasted which I'm happy about because if they were going to come for our wasp um, then we'd be in trouble. So it looks like that's going to get repaired fine. I'm okay with that. Let's see what these guys are actually doing. Um, I think that this is part of the game that should be fixed. Um, whether it be whether it be um, let's get all these awesome pictures whether yeah look at that crossing over whether it be a, a mission if it's not on the surface and they're using torpedoes or even dive bombers they they will not do anything but finish their mission they cannot adapt like if we had say we have a bunch of SPD dive bombers and they're coming in to attack a ship and I have let's say 12 you know uh, individual aircraft set up in groups to attack and the last group hasn't dropped yet and they're getting ready to drop but the ship sinks if it sinks the aircraft in that last final group to send to dive bomb they will not dive bomb they will immediately say nope that our target has sunk we're not going to go drop our bombs and I've gone out of engagements realizing that there are a few groups of aircraft that actually did not finish their mission because they came back with ordnance bombs on their on their aircraft because the game tells my aircrew that if they have missions to bomb a ship that's already sunk uh, they won't do it if the if but the Japanese here they will waste all sorts of resources uh, going after something that's, you know, these guys here. Our, our, our ship is down to, uh -oh, are we sinking down? I think we are. Uh, that's not good, boys. I'm not even going to worry about that right now. I didn't know we were so low. coming back up. I want to be at 100 feet. Let's see if this is going up. We're going down. Let me see below. Let's get these guys up. Now the problem with doing that is the fighters. I think I may have just resolved this issue by uh, all right here's the deal yeah we I may have just killed this submarine because as soon as he surfaces these guys are coming now fortunately enough for me they've dropped all their ordinance but um, oh I thought there were fine okay we're good we're good pretty sure we're good we're lucky we got lucky um, or did we damn it damn it damn it Damn it, Jim. One last, one last guy. Now let's see if we dodge this. Nope, he didn't. And that might have done it. Anybody else turn it around for me? So we have no speed. We cannot dive. Um, 
That's not going to be repaired. Actually, that's more important to be repaired. So let's see if we can get that fixed. Are we going to sink? Can't believe I did that. Yeah, I could have checked. I could have gone through and looked it up, looked over all those aircraft, but we may have just sunk our own submarine by doing emergency blow. If we just stayed down, we would have been fine. So let's see if we can get this repaired and get the engines working again. If they came with if they, I believe they had fighters, because what, you know, my Kingfisher got shot down. Um, yeah, it's a little stuff like that when you make a mistake and uh, you don't really intend to. And as soon as you do it, you say, "Ah, I shouldn't have done that." So hopefully, our pipe. Turners can get these fixed. What would you guys think about serving on a submarine in World War II? Any submarine, any country. I just think it would be the worst. Even today, I think it's probably the one of the worst. The only benefit to serving on a submarine today is uh, the time frame on which you go out for. Now, three months or whatever they do uh, at sea. All right, we're gonna be good. Three months at sea and not going anywhere, no ports, just underwater. You know, 12 on, 12 off routine every day. It's pretty rough. And then you, I guess you do get probably used to the modern submarines, but okay, so we're back to efficiency here. We have some uh, scarred paint, um, but I, I think that's, I think we got lucky there. So let's get out. Yeah, how's that for uh, engagement? Let's go tactical and get rid of this scout plane. see you. Fortunately I don't. Mainly because of my graphics card I think. Oh there he is. Go get him boys. And the, the angles these guys take. Choo 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 choo. Not gonna do anything. Just do it, do it, do it, do it. There you go. Right down the, the stove pipe. There we go. Bane of my existence. Don't like them. You know, if I was a pilot, I would shoot down every scout plane I ever saw. to you need to do some of this stuff um, let's go a little bit higher not too that far yeah do that close enough another scout plane we're gonna allow him to to live um, this guy uh, is going to be mincemeat, I think, but we're going to allow that to happen and see what happens. 
Of course you're going the same way. What are the odds? So we're getting close to... It's still morning. We should be getting a whole bunch more engagements here. Um, are you still moving? Of course not. Can you move for me, please? I don't know if it's because of that, these connections that break this uh, line that I want them to scout. I want them to scout anything that coming down this way or anything coming down this way, ship-wise, cargo ships, um, so he can get involved. Uh, we have the Wasp in his first attack, so let's begin that. Um, I'm going to keep you guys in your famous three column. You should be relatively together. Um, I'm not going to worry about subs, but I'll turn that on anyway. Make sure everybody's got their stuff on. And then we're going to go and pick an aircraft. So who do you want to be? You want to be, let's go for this guy, number 29, and see if he can uh, be a hero, hero today. We're going to follow um, Kenneth Farmerduke. Kenneth is a, a, was a farmer in Iowa. Grew up, uh, born in... Uh, 1924, um, so that makes him, what, four, six, eight, I'm doing math here, sorry, 16 and two, so he's 18 years old, and, uh, you know, he's a young, young farmer, and, uh, you know, he's, He's been on the ship for four months, and uh, his dream was to be a pilot. And uh, this is where he gets his chance. So let's see what he makes of himself in this engagement. Um, hopefully he can uh, make his parents proud, and uh, I'm sure he's shaking in his boots. But I'm not going to do anything with the fleet. We're going to let the fleet risk it for the biscuit. And hopefully we can uh, engage. Let's take a look at what our, what these guys are going after. Looks like only eight. Yeah, it looks like only seaplanes. Got his target. Let's see if he's uh, doing well in this engagement. It looks like he's doing pretty well. I do really want to see what you're aiming at, though, bro. So his speed is um, his speed is a little high. He hasn't mastered the art of judging. You see, the more senior guys are doing better. Again, we don't have, you know, this looks like there's one. So there's only one guy left, and uh, you know, our hero here, yeah, it looks like he missed out, but he, he lived to fight another day. Um, and uh, he's going to go back, land after all. Well, he'll probably stay up because mission critical. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. So we're going to retreat out of here, and uh, he's going to he's going to be shaking in his boots still for a little bit longer. We're going to let that happen.
Uh, Shortland, you, you do have pilots, right? Do you think you maybe you want to go do some, some hard work? This might not be the best course of action, but um, it may be something that helps us. So let's see if we can get you involved in the game. Again, I will not tactical when, even if it's the same group, I'm not, I'm just not going to do it. I'm afraid that the game will crash on me. So we're going to begin here. And unfortunately we have this god awful group of bombers that uh, have crazy tail gunners all over. Um, see what they're going after. You're going after 10, you're going after 10, you're going after 11, 11, 12, 12. Okay, so I'm okay with them spreading out two per aircraft, and they're going after just this one group. So the problem is there's six of them, and we're only going after three aircraft. Um, but we're going to allow that and see what happens. I have a feeling they're all going to get shot down, but uh, let's see what happens. You know, I could micromanage. I've done that with some good results, but... Now, these aircraft, what would they normally do in war? I have a feeling they would not do what they're doing right now. Um, so we're going to do something different here. You know, we're going to say, I know you really want to, but um, go after that guy, please. And this is how I usually get all my aircraft shot down. The, Try and uh, try and do it a little bit differently. So let's see what happens. We're gonna follow this guy and see what happens to him. Head on, I think is better. Not sure. No, they don't like to uh, shoot their guns. This guy's gonna get shot down probably. What are you shooting at, Red Tex? So we're going to mix them up again. And I'm going to say that you need to go after I'm trying to get them to go head-ons instead of tail. And maybe that will make them last a little bit longer. Let's follow this number six guy and see if he can do his mission. Yeah, not so much. You are looking to get shot down, my friend. Um, if anything, go go for. Let's see what we got in the area. For that guy, it's dead. guys try and go for number 12 again and uh, why don't you join him and, and go after number seven yeah this is probably where I, they all go down um, see if they can make their targets I don't think they will be able to but um, 
Yeah, I don't know what you're going after, bro. I should do this guy. Come on. Again, uh, all my fighters so that's a thing we're, we're not gonna play so let's let's do this um, we're gonna see break form up and I want you guys to get out of dodge um, we're not happy with losing all of our aircraft previously actually let's go down See if we can rescue some of these guys. Just really don't want them to uh, succumb to bombers like that. Um, these guys have bombs, so if they follow us low, they're going to be out of commission if they come across something, at least in this situation. Okay. Easy there, Tex. Anybody else shooting just because? Yeah, that's a thing. The game likes to uh, do that. You just gonna get rid of all your ammo? And they will follow us because they're in gunner mode. I uh, know they won't follow us, okay. Um, that's a thing that I'm okay with. Uh, Catalinas, you go this way, bro. And you go this way. And we're just gonna let the first guy to uh, get out of the map, we're gonna disengage. So they expended all their ammunition, at least one, one guy did, this guy's totally out. So he just went ham on his trigger. His fear got the best of him and he just, uh, <coughs> so, you know, you go back and you, they see how many rounds you have left in your, in your fighter and they say, well, you expended all rounds, you didn't shoot anything down. Well. Along with, uh, it's depicted in many movies where pilots say they have engine trouble and they maybe don't. Um, not saying that was the case, but let's use that as an example here as to why they shot all their weapons. So you guys are TP because uh, we just lost you all. <coughs> let's do a uh, spot check on our supply uh, ships. Who we got coming? going so you're good you're going home you're going to lay you're going to midway I'm gonna set Whidbey Island all right let's keep an eye on the carrier here all right we got a big big engagement here um, so the Kingfisher is returning. We are going to go into it, but it's going to bring in everybody else, I believe. Yeah. So, again, 
the fighters gonna do their thing. Um, now let's start, and then we're gonna stop it immediately. Go into our SPDs, put everybody in a big pot of hell, and have them uh, form up, go down low. Yeah, right over the group. So we're gonna have them circle. And uh, we're gonna have them just be top of cover. Um, because these guys are bombers, we technically should have enough go after them. We are going to say attack because of our position. See, these guys are right there, so we're going to say, cancel that, go after them. We're going to let them do their business, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get these guys before they drop their bombs. Uh, I am going to go into the ships and have them do a turn, um, and we are going to turn into them. So we want to go this way, and we're going to speed up best we can. The reason is you want to have you want to have your AAA on these aircraft. Status. We haven't lost any aircraft yet. We're just shooting them down like gangbusters. Um, how are you guys doing? Well, oh, we're shooting a few. We're getting a couple of us down. That's the first guy down for us. The fighters are doing well. Smart move to not go after that. All right, we need to make sure that we get these guys under control. We're looking pretty good, actually. These guys are a pretty big threat right now. But you see our turn, we're turning basically out of their engagement. <coughs> He's gonna get spanked here shortly. Let's see if he gets it by AAA. Yeah, doing this in Japanese against Japanese aircraft, if we get shot down well before this, B-17s get shot down at 10,000 feet. These guys getting shot down, it uh, takes a while. <coughs> there should be more than enough AAA to get these guys. go back here. I want my SPDs to stay out of the fight now and get back over here. We're going to 
we'll let the Wildcats take care of the rest. So who's the lead Wildcat? Paul McNamara. Um, he's from Philly. He's kind of a little crazy guy. Um, he's a little bit older. He's 28, and uh, he's, he's one of those pilots that actually has been in the game a while. But uh, he's getting a little greedy, I think. Getting a little greedy there, Paul. Come on, bro. Paul bailed out after this engagement and uh, was picked up. So yeah, he just got he got a little. I don't know why he didn't shoot, but yeah, that's his thing. But he survived. He was close enough to the fleet to be picked up. Um, So I'm happy to say that um, we did form up pretty well. Our speeds were not were not crazy this time. Uh, Our guys did well, so I'm happy with that. We'll give them their, their due. So with that uh, engagement, we are going to go back to a spread. Um, we are going to slow down. And uh, turn on our sonars. We're going to do a quick spot check. We do have some smoking, but I don't think they dropped a bomb, so let's do a quick check. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. We're good. We did shoot down one of our assets but uh, and apparently there was a problem in the supply chain and the supply plane didn't have any spares on the wasp so uh, our pilot that bailed out and got and he'll be picked up um, thing I don't really like about these guys is uh, they tend to they have a tendency to just fly off their cap they should go into circle mode over the aircraft carrier fleet um, but instead they have a tendency to not do that they have a tendency to just uh, they can fly off the map if you're not aware and if you don't have your aircraft I think um, if you don't put them over your fleet, when you get out of the fleet, when you retreat, they may not be in the right position when you get attacked again, which we were attacked by high altitude bombers. The next is uh, torpedo planes. So again, I put these guys in our... Come on, Brad. You guys as well. So let's get out. We're going to see what happens in the next engagement. Where, the, where are the Dauntlesses when we go back into the next engagement? What are these guys doing? Um, we 
We're not done yet, boys. Let's see if we can uh, take these guys out. What do you think? As soon as they hit the attack button, they go evasive. Now, if they run off the map, there's not much I can do about it, but I have a feeling... Uh, what are these guys? Yeah. You guys need to uh, reevaluate your mission here and take out this guy. So these guys went after our Kingfisher and our pilots just let it happen apparently. And again our SPDs are out of position and they could have very easily been shot down. So the only real hope for them is to get over the, the ships. So the, th the issue with these aircraft is that you see that number uh, 30 here is traveling at 274 and he's going after a, a more maneuverable fighter at 256. Um, when they're in this formation engagement that you really can't adjust, you have to like cancel the attack, but we're going to see what happens. Um, I don't think he can, he can get to them probably going to get shot down if he's not careful. So superior numbers don't always mean success. Um, so these guys uh, need to just do a, a thing. I'm going to have them do a, a wide turn. up a little bit. So, see how these guys adjust their speed? Our guys don't. And that's a problem with the game. Um, our guys have a tendency to uh, do stupid stuff. And the stupid stuff is allow aircraft to shoot you down. So we're 
we're gonna send this guy this way. And hopefully this, this plane follows him. And uh, the other guys behind him can shoot him down. Yep, shoot that guy down please. So what we're going to do is we're going to say All right, you're going to keep doing what you're doing, so you're going to break So you, my friend, uh, run this way, and the rest of you guys keep doing what you're doing. But I want you to um, go after that guy. Anybody that's not doing anything, we're just going to tell them to attack something. Turn on your auto gunnery, please, and go shoot something down. Yeah, this is one of those issues in the game that... Um, you know, to have or not have that button, I don't know. I don't know what, what the right answer is going on a long one today over an hour I, you know I, I guess I'm in a more talkative mood today um, I was on a kick there for doing two videos a day and rather long ones at that um, it takes a lot of time to uh, upload the videos I think it's I don't know if it's my I'm just using a basic, basic you know rather new computer but um, you know, it still takes, you know, a couple hours, maybe, to, to have those videos up, uploaded. And, you know, when I upload, I, I wait for it to process and then just publish it right then and there. I don't mess with, uh, let's see what this guy's doing. So you guys need to go down, right? So let's uh, let's follow this guy in. See what he's looking at. See how the other guys do. Where are you going? Uh, whatever it is you think you're doing. Um, I'm going to take control of you because I don't like it. So you're at 8,000 feet, 8,500, so let's get down to 8,500 80, something. And uh, 
going to be the runner, I guess, huh? Okay. Well done, my boys. So, do we get everybody and we can get out of this? Let's see. No, there's still two guys left. Where is you at? So. All of you, please. Um, attack. And I don't know if it makes a difference, but ships. Yeah, I, I can't do that against the Japanese, um, get that close to ships, they just don't, they just don't allow it, my friend. Um, So that was boring as all hell. Um, our aircraft seemed to be low on coffee, I'm guessing. We did shoot down 29 of their fighters, and bombers and stuff. We lost four aircraft. So let's um, continue out of here. Um, we're getting pretty close and the bombardment is what we're waiting for on this engagement in this video to be honest with you because um, it's been a while so we're getting close and let's do some bombardment let's see what it is before we do that so again three and four and uh, if we go back to here the wasp North Carolina has got a bunch of bombs they'll empty everything Brooklyn, same. These will all be zeros once we're done, at least the top row. Six inch shells is all they can, I think it's six and up is what they use to bombard. Um, the Reno is not gonna be able to bombard anything. Five inch shells. Washington with six inch shells, she'll be empty on the 16s. Um, Australia will be uh, all eight inch shells both AP and EP will be depleted. Um, Savannah will expend all her six inch shells and these guys won't do anything but uh, monitor. Um, so that's how that works. Let's go to bombardment and watch the fancy boom booms. Alright, that's one. You only get three engagements. So if we look we check the uh, numbers here. They seem to be doing pretty good. Let's do another one. I don't think it's updating as we do it. But when we finished, that will be it. So that's three times I hit the button. Uh, let's see if we can do it again. We can't. Yeah. So what's going to happen is we are going to leave this engagement. And we have to go back to Port Moresby. 
Um, it's where we have our rearming base. This, well, a three is all we needed. What we got here, Milton Bay is zero. We don't have any rearming there. So we're going to go back to Port Moresby, which is a haul, but it is what it is for a reason. Um, that's going to be a long hike. That's the way it works. That's the way the cookie crumbles. So what do we do to our bull? A bull. It's a two and two. So one more engagement, I think, will break this down. And then uh, it'll get ugly from there for them. Um, let's see if we can get out of here before the engagement is intact. Okay, so we have a, a spot. We're going to mark it. And what is it going to be? It's going to be, I think it's a, let's go up light cruisers. I think that's what it would be. Yeah. Um, we're going to go take a look because we're going to see exactly what we got here. We may have a carrier, we may not. Um, but let's take a look and see. Uh, before you ever go into engagement, you always want to make sure that you Okay, so this is actually re kind of realistic. Um, these guys were spotters and sub hunters. So they do have, you know, one, two, three, four, I don't know how many, five, six, seven, eight. There's probably ten people on this plane. Radio. Who knows? All sorts of stuff. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to find uh, these ships that are coming our way. And they are at a... That doesn't work in the minimap. Okay, so it's going to be this direction, right? Right there. Let's go Banacas and see what we can see. Okay, so it looks like this is a light cruiser, and then we have destroyer, 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 destroyer. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's what we're gonna probably see the rest of the game. Um, we're gonna be seeing these kind of fleets now. They're fast, they're dangerous, their AAA is crazy when they get a lot of them together. Um, so they're still formidable, but there's no supply ships here. I imagine there's nothing. They could have troops. I have seen people play in that format. Um, but yeah, unless they can uh, do some damage to our supply chains, they're not much th real threat to us, in theory. My, my bad gameplay will make that statement very wrong because uh, I have a tendency to not play well against these guys. Um, but we will see a lot more of this kind of formation in the game. And I'm not overly concerned about wiping them all out, but we'll see what they do. I have a tendency to think that they come looking to uh, how do I put it um, harass us and um, is that a good thing is it a bad thing I don't know but until we see the big carriers this is what we got and again um, these guys are going to start shooting at us Do a little crazy Ivans here, and um, you know, let them know that we actually know they're here. We could get shot down here very easily. 
but what we're going to do is we're going to do something like this. Now, I could just get out and uh, not bother with this, but again, I've said it before, everybody plays games the way they play games, and, you know, I'm not going to stay and do this whole, whole routine, but I am going to see if we can harass them and get them to use some of their ammunition. In theory, they are expelling ammunition at this aircraft. Um, let's go take a closer look at what these guys are. So again, we have different things to look at on these, on these destroyers. When you're identifying them, you look at the stacks first of all, and then I immediately go to the rear guns. And then after that, I'm looking at the torpedo locations, whether they're level with the deck or whether they're raised off the deck. Um, and that's how you identify. Does that have an impact on the game? I don't think it does. But is that part of the game that I play? Yeah. So it's not for everybody. It gets a little bit annoying and monotonous, I'm sure, to watch. Uh, these guys appear to all be the same type of uh, destroyer outside of this guy. Again, the, the deal with this, this uh, ship here is you know, the Akazuki class is the AAA. The AAA is pretty, pretty bad. So there's eight of these guns. Um, they are dual purpose and they have a range that is pretty far um, so yeah these guys are the more newer destroyers uh, looks like they only get one in this group this scout plane doesn't have anything on it to uh, bomb even if it wanted to uh, you can know that by looking at down here like sometimes you forget of course you can go over here and you can open up the bomb bay doors and say yeah there's nothing in there okay but another way to, s to determine it is if you look down here and you see another box and it's got a bomb signal with a plus that means you have bombs on the air on the ship aircraft um, if there's nothing there like we see here that means it's empty um, if you have what looks like a javelin or let's say a more specifically a torpedo a single torpedo looking thing that means you have torpedoes like if you have a SPD not an SPD but a TBF bomber torpedo plane they'll have one of those there but because they can carry bombs and torpedoes they can have different things in this box um, but yeah okay enough of that we can get out of here and leave these guys to go do whatever they think they're going to do. And um, this is, uh, we're going to say, CL and 9 DDs. Is that important to have there? No. Where are they going to go? I think they're coming. In this position, they may just be doing a patrol, is all they're doing. Um, not overly concerned with this. They could just be coming down here, or they could be coming through here to make this entry point, in which uh, we have the much superior group here to take care of them if need be. So, uh, all right, with that, we are going to finish out the day with a little speed run here. If these guys get attacked again, maybe is what we're looking at. Uh, I did see a fighter plane over here. Let's go tactical real quick. Oh, wait. All right. So, we're going to begin this wasp engagement because I don't want... Please tell me I have fighters up. Where the hell are my fighters? I'm 
we go right back into it. I just... Yeah, why didn't you show up? Alright. Let's go into these guys and go tactical again and see if we can get them. Wow. See, that's a problem. Uh... Didn't like me getting out of that engagement. That's how I save each of my game playthroughs. And we're going to reload. Because when it locks like that, you're, you're close to... I don't know if that's how long you've been on, like I've been on for an hour and a half playing this and recording. Um, so maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe it's RAM for my computer or something, I don't know. Let's see if this gets us into it. So immediately, I'm going to go into getting these guys a little bit safe. Um, I may have inadvertently just uh, messed up. like uh, tricky fingers. They should still be here. That really wasn't intent, my intent to do that. I, I was really, I didn't see my fighters that should be capped. They were there, they were covered by all the SPDs, but I didn't see that. So, I, I know that seems kind of cheesy. I thought they'd still be there, but whatever, they'll be back. They're still coming, they just went past us and they're gonna come back and hit us. So, it should be all right. See if they show up again. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, they're down here already. Jeez. feel a little bit bad about that, but not too bad, actually. It is what it is. It's after, min after dark, so they can't... I guess they could, but they won't. Let's drop off some supplies. Alright, let's unload all cargo. So to up this to a level 2 airfield, or I guess, is 20 more fuel. Um, I don't think we have a fueler in this area. Um, Simran, there we do. We have fuel here we can take? No? How about here? Yeah, we can. Um, because, let's just do that. Let's go over here and grab a supplies of, um, let's see what we got. 
yeah, we can do that up just to level two. And I want to do that. So let's go over here and grab some engineering and fuel. And because we said we want to take those off anyway. Um, or are we trying to get to four here? I forget. Let's do that. Um, let me look real quick and see what our supplies are doing. Yeah, you're coming down with fuel, so I'm not going to do that. We're going to send you back. We're going to send you back to get more stuff. Not you. You. Let's go get some more stuff for you, shall we? And we're going to get it from Wake. Because Wake is going to have all sorts of stuff coming its way yeah so that's what we're gonna do so let's go to the morning and then we'll put an end to this one truck what do you got you got supplies and engineering so let's unload all your cargo I'm good with that and you need to go back to get supplies we want you to go to what do you need to do here We're going to get um, engineering and fuel and supplies is what we're going to get. So we need to go to, not there, <laughs> yeah let's go back to Midway, just straight shot, do it, make it happen bruh. It'll take a while, but you're going back as well. Our timing is a little off. Ideally, you want two going back. If you say you got four supply groups like this, um, supply convoys, you want two going back to get two on empty and two full. So right now we have one empty, two empty, three empty, four empty. Yeah, four out of six are empty. Uh, so we need to be at least even uh, three out of three. But I don't think that's gonna happen right yet. So you're going back. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna change your position because I have a feeling guys are going to be needed so cover that please forever in a day that's your main role you are the defense force of Pompeii that's what your role is and that's what your role is going to stay um, why don't we put out more something um, we could um, are these guys still moving one of those other things you check. Uh, Lexington, you're going to change your course a little bit. I want you to be a little bit further out. Um, you can defend yourself. You don't need to be handheld. Um, and you can go even further out. And I think I want you to patrol... No, we're going to do it smartly. The direction from which you send your convoys, and you want to have a perimeter that covers the area of approach. That's how I'm thinking about it. So if they're coming this direction, they're going to come down through this cover area. If I put the cross this way, vertical, then they can miss us. We can miss them on this side. We can miss them on this side. It doesn't cover the swath. This way, a horizontal bracket. Our our range is from probably you know here 
you know, to here that will spot, hopefully, and, and that's how that works. Now, Sirkov is probably in need of some going back to base, but she's never fired her guns. Um, oh, actually, she did, but she did horribly. Um, but we're going to give her another chance, see if she can... Uh, actually, why am, I, why am I bullshitting me? Just, just do it. Um, let's get out a different submarine. I did say, I know I said we were going to end this episode, but, uh, yeah, that seems to be, you know, something I cannot stick to. Um, and we're going to put out two of these guys. And uh, the reason for two is because we're going to have that area covered really well. Um, And they're not going to stay in a group, but they are going to uh, get to there in a group. And um, I'm going to put them in this formation uh, so they're even. I'm going to spread them out distance-wise um, so they can semi-cover each other and get more spread. In theory, that's just how I'm thinking. And you guys are going to go as best speed to here and we're gonna sit you there and when we get there we're gonna put you in your bracket and we'll let you do that but that, that's a way of spending 60 command points without uh, seeing much from it. So you're going home, you're going home, you're coming in, you're going home, you're going home. So you see the, how it's uneven right now? And I said I wanted to do something else, didn't I? Reno. Reno, once you rearm, actually you can go now because you're empty. So you're going to go over here and I want you to link up with this group to give you a little more oomph. You do that, and um, I think that's a good position to be in, uh, to bolster this group. Uh, you know, another light cruiser with some heavy gun, lots of ammo, it's a good position to be in. Alright, let's get to the 10 more minutes to the bottom, and then we will call this one. I thank you for watching. Um, if you made it this far, I hope you did. Um, I do these videos for you guys and for me to talk for multiple hours at nausea. But um, I like to talk about this game and how I relate it to like Navy actions in World War II. Um, I guess I could go into some of the history of this engagement. I've seen others go into the formations and specific ships and stuff like that. I don't know that stuff. Um, maybe I should learn, uh, but we'll get there eventually if that's what you guys want to want to participate in. Um, 
yeah so that's what we're gonna do and we'll do that more of that in the uh, days to come in videos to follow and uh, I thank you for watching I'll end it here and I'll see you in the next video appreciate it